Behavioral Endocrinology, Wikipedia Article Audio Behavioral endocrinology is the study of hormonal processes and neuroendocrine systems that influence or regulate behavior. Analytical approaches include studies of natural variation among individuals within populations of a single species, sex differences, differences among species, and experimental manipulations of either the endocrine system or behavior itself. Estrogens, together, make up a group of primary female sex hormones synthesized in the ovaries. Sex steroids and behavior Estrogen Testosterone is secreted by the testicles of males and the ovaries of females, although small amounts are also secreted by the adrenal glands. It is the principal male sex hormone and an anabolic steroid. There has been much debate and research devoted to the relationship between testosterone and aggression. Men produce approximately 10 times more testosterone than women, so even low testosterone men have more than any woman. Physically, it generates such male traits as body hair and pattern baldness. Psychologically, testosterone promotes. Several studies have established that testosterone therapy has reduced negative mood, depression, fatigue, and self-esteem. Thyroxine and triiodothyronine are the main hormones released in the thyroid gland. They are synthesized from tyrosine and iodine in the bloodstream. These hormones travel via bloodstream to almost every cell throughout the body and function to regulate their target cell's metabolism. These hormones are a product of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. These organs function together as the hypothalamus releases thyrotrophin-releasing hormone, which cause the pituitary gland to secrete thyrotrophin that signal the thyroid gland to process and release thyroxine and triiodothyronine to the body. These hormones play a major role in the neuroendocrine system which regulates the vital body functions of breathing, body weight, heart rate, muscle strength, cholesterol levels, especially body temperature. When your body has too much or too little of these hormones it has abnormal affect throughout your body. Testosterone The production of too much thyroxine and triiodothyronine result in hyperthyroidism. Some potential side effects are the production of too little thyroxine and triiodothyronine results in hypothyroidism. Some potential side effects are Thyroid hormones The two adrenal glands are located on the top of the kidney and have two distinct sections. The outer region called the outer part which is called the adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex produce the hormones that are essential for life such as cortisol and aldosterone. The inner section, or the adrenal medulla produce hormones that are not essential for life itself but assist the body in its functions, and these would include a hormone such as adrenaline. Cortisol is produced by the adrenal cortex above the kidneys and plays a major factor in neuroendocrinological behaviors. Cortisol helps in the regulation of metabolism and helps the body and brain respond to stress. Higher levels of cortisol to stressful situations promote Adrenaline, or otherwise known as epinephrine is released from the adrenal medulla. Adrenaline is also released in response to the stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system or stress. Adrenal is known as the fight or flight hormone as rapidly rushes blood to muscles and brain and produce the effects. Thyroxine and triiodothyronine Adrenal hormones Cortisol Adrenaline Sexual behavior, 
Lordosis behavior is a body position in many mammals in which the spine curves dorsoventrally before and during copulation, sexual desire, sexual receptivity, mental health. A sense of separateness, aggression and risk-taking and sexual fantasy, anxiety or energy leading to poor concentration, assertiveness and self-confidence visual spatial ability and interest in moving things, violent, criminal, or psychotic behavior. Anxiety, irritability or moodiness, hyperactivity and nervousness, excessive sweating and sensitivity to higher temperatures, hand trembling, mist or light menstrual periods. Trouble sleeping, fatigue, dry skin or hair, Concentration difficulties, depression, sensitivity to cold temperatures, frequent and heavy menstrual periods, joint and muscle pain. Mental and physical preparation for stress, weakened inflammatory actions resulting in temporary pain toleration, fat, carbohydrate, and protein metabolism resulting high blood glucose levels, sleep deprivation temporarily impaired cognitive performance, possible anxiousness. Increase overall muscular function, increase awareness, increased excitability, increased desire and emotion.